many of the brain services in the habit as a learner. With, and the learning target is autism spectrum neurons and understanding the process of neuroplasticity. So the main idea is to understand the process of neuroplasticity, which will lead us to getting the answer to the essential question. So can anyone pronounce a power verb in the learning target? You know a verb is a doing. I think of like bottles and like water bottles you can like easily like mold them or modify them to like what you want. So basically it's Reading it, try to highlight keywords. Okay. Oh. Many scientists believe that the brain did not change after childhood. So to start off with, neurons, those are like the building blocks of our brain. So you can do things to increase them, like increase the connection made. And I was going to ask y'all if y'all knew any ways that you could increase them, like in the school. Do you ask it in this way? Yes? Ready? Ready? Yeah, that's one of them. Okay, I want to bring up math. Like, wait, which one of you said it? Two. Okay, yeah. So, um, math teachers usually, like, if you remember in elementary school, at least for me, um, they used to show videos, like, songs, use manipulatives, like, those, like, ten blocks, one blocks. So those are all different ways to learn the concept that y'all are learning, which, is in the teacher form learn as using different modalities. Okay, so these are the four modalities that I came up with. So kinesthetic, can anyone, does anyone have an idea of what that is? Y'all have the right ideas, they're just like the wrong category. You know, like audio, word, y'all know that. And then visual, you know, visuals, you know, looking at something, okay. So like auditory would mean like hearing? Yeah. Which, do you do you all want to give examples on that? See. Um, so, I think auditory, like an example, could be like, like, kind of like, let's say, like a learning audio book, for example, you just put on headphones and then you, like, learn from what they're saying. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good example. Okay, Ava. I feel like hearing and stuff, like, Earlier, you talked about like math songs and things like that, and like hearing them over and over again. Yeah, that's a good one. And then, you know how like some of your teachers they like stand up here and talk and then give you information, which is like a lecture, so that's also one. Okay, does anyone know visual? Mm hmm. Uh, okay. It's like to see. Yeah, so do any of y'all want to provide examples for that one? Patrick? Reading the book like multiple times. Keep that in your mind multiple times. Yeah. Okay, does anyone else want to give me an example of visual? Okay, well, well, today I actually provided you an example of visual, which would have been the video I provided. So, like, videos, books with, like, tons of pictures, or just, like, sorting pictures, things like that. And then tactile, does anyone give that a try? Okay. 
Ready? Is tactile like like the act of like doing something? Yeah. So when I think of tactile, I think of like kind of like Tyson said, hands on. So whether that's out using like things outside or inside the classroom, like manipulatives, those can go under tactile. And then kinesthetic seems like to be the one y'all are kind of struggling with, but I hope that. So have y'all learned yet in that science like kinetic energy and potential energy? Okay, so y'all know like potential is like having the potential to do something, and then like kinetic is like moving. So kinesthetic would be like the act of moving. So like have y'all ever played four corners? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So four corners, like kind of game in the classroom would act as a kinesthetic activity. I'll explain it. And if any part y'all aren't y'all didn't hear me, just ask me to repeat it, please. I'll draw it over here. So this is the whole neuron, and then on the other side there would be another um, neuron. Can anyone tell me what would be on the opposite side of the axon terminal? So if it starts here, and then there's the whole, this is the whole length of it, then where would what would be on the opposite side? If there's a whole other neuron starting. Uh. So you're gonna be making them out of candy, and I'm gonna give you all a piece of paper. So put on the table so I can put the candy on. And then hand sanitizer, I'll pass it around. Can anyone tell me what an actively engaged um, student looks like? Yeah? Oh, I said that's what it is. Oh, that's like, <laughs> help me. Oh, I know. Okay. Y'all need to move, or y'all okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can. Can you read number two for me, Sophie? Tyson? Doing something else, not paying attention. Mm -hmm. And just disrupting. Talking over a presenter. That's a good one. Go so back to the last question. Does anyone want to read that one? Okay, Alex. How can you build your habit to the learning in your Okay, so can anyone remind me of what neuroplasticity is? Oh. Yes? It's yeah. like the brain. Here, can I? Yeah, you can use your text. I'll come back to you. Yes, Tyson? It's like, you're, it's like if you do something different, you're rewriting your brain. Yeah, that's exactly what it means. Okay, so I was going to say rewrite. Okay, you can 